You're watching Fox Monday Night, and Party Girl begins right now. Sweet dreams of rhythm and dancing. Sweet dreams of passion through the night. Sweet dreams are taking over. Sweet dreams of dancing through the night. Yeah. Let the games begin. Yeah. Tennis, anyone? I'm serving. <laughs> hey, boy, how are Mary's finest? Mary, usually when I come to one of your parties, you fix me up. I work in the door ten minutes. I haven't seen any action. I feel like a virgin. <laughs> By the way, did you invite any? Neil, I am going to fix you up. I'm just looking for someone with as much to offer as you do. Ten dollars, please. I only have a twenty. Can I owe you ten? <laughs> I hope you two will be very happy together. <laughs> Excuse me, are you on the list? Party's over. Everybody out. Miss, you're coming with me. But officer, I can't leave. I guess. Yeah, and you're running the legal social club. Can't you see I'm providing a service? Seven couples have met at my parties this year alone. Eight if you count the threesome. <laughs> officer, she's our friend. If you arrest her, you're gonna have to arrest all of us. Yeah. 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 Fine with me. Good luck, Mary. <laughs> Mary, take these. I don't smoke. Little something for the big girls in the cell block. <laughs> okay, let's go. Officer, I don't want to name names, but someone here is sucking the life out of this party. Hello there. And aren't you a cop and half? Feel free to use those handcuffs. Ooh. teaching a class in English, the language. <laughs> you might want to get that taken care of. The attitude. <laughs> This is a discussion group, people. I'm not doing stand-up here. <laughs> so, anybody here from out of town? <laughs> We've been here for 45 minutes and nobody's made a sound. Except for you, Gunther. <laughs> and a simple excuse me would have not only been good manners, <laughs> much needed icebreaker as well. <laughs> Judy, got a sec? <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Mary, hello. Judy, I hate to interrupt, but I'm on a tight schedule. Today's the first day of the rest of my life. Well, let's hope that's the case. Let's hope you learned something from last night's trip to the slammer. Now, about that loan. A loan? In addition to the bail money? Mary, since your mother died, I have tried to be some kind of family to you, but you treat me like an ATM machine. <laughs> Judy, you know I'd love you even if you didn't spit out Chris 20s. <laughs> I'm gonna get it together. I just need to figure out what I want to do. Well, you can't spend your life partying all night and sleeping all day. I beg to differ. <laughs> Judy, I came to New York to live. If I wanted to be a shut-in, I would have stayed in Wappinger Falls. How about getting a job? We're understaffed here. Maybe you could... No, what am I saying? No. A girl like you could never... 
Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean a girl like me? You know, someone once said, work is what boring people do when the rest of us are like living. I think that was you, Mary. That was something my mother taught me. Actually, the whole cult believed in it. <laughs> Is it any wonder you're just as irresponsible as she was? She was your best friend, Judy. If it wasn't for her, you never would have made out with Billy D. Williams. <laughs> could have made him so happy. <laughs> Nonetheless, you are not cut out to be in the library. <laughs> you don't think I could be a librarian? Dear... A librarian is a professional with a master's degree in library science. The job we have available is for a clerk. But even a clerk has to be efficient, responsible, awake. <laughs> you don't think I could be a library clerk? A library clerk has to be smart and sensible. You don't think I'm smart enough to work in your freaking library? I said nothing of the sort. Judy, you're my only family and you're ashamed of me. Fine, you can start right now. Fine, I will. Fine. Wanda, I want you to meet my goddaughter, Mary. She's our newest clerk. I assume you're familiar with the Dewey Decimal System? <laughs> Stop in! I'm almost ready. How was the shoot? I am fed up with fabulous. I am quitting fashion and entering a monastery as soon as I find one with a decent step class. Tell me everything. Wait. Let me put on my interested glasses. White wedding. White gazebo. White tin. $1,000 Vera Wang wedding dress, and the 13-year-old model wearing it becomes a woman. <laughs> Today, in the middle of the shoot. <laughs> she didn't. All I can hear is the poor girl's mother, Missy, Missy, you're a woman. Derek, you can't give up the fashion. It's the Lord's work, and you're practically the Pope. Oh, Stop. <laughs> Besides, how else are you going to help launch my modeling career? The paparazzi go crazy as Mary works the runway. Mary, ksh, Mary, ksh, Mary. Ksh. Oh, look, it's street walking, Barbie. <laughs> Woo, here's something to get Ken back in the camper. <laughs> Derek, don't mix those up, please. They're in order. Armani, Biblos, Chanel. And what was I thinking? So what happened with Judy? Did she give you the loan? Uh, no. Actually, she didn't give me a loan. She gave me a... <coughs> <laughs> a cough? <laughs> a job at the library. <laughs> the library. There is something to be said for a place full of things found in leather. <laughs> Mary, think about what you're saying. Steady job? Judy? Fluorescent lighting? I've had tons of steady jobs. Yeah, during the day? <laughs> I'll wear less makeup. So, uh, are you going to tell people you're working in a library? Of course not. Good, then I can. <laughs> hey, everybody, it's me, Mary. <laughs> and it's me, Derek. <laughs> You're all out of my will <laughs> Hey, Natasha, you were so right about prison I ordered the kosher meal and it was delicious <laughs> So Mary, aren't you going to tell O'Neill your big news? Eric, you know I'm not supposed to talk about my new job I'm working for the government, it's very hush-hush That's because it's in the library <laughs> Library? With Mary's working in the library? It could happen, okay? Cindy Crawford played a lawyer in that movie. And is there anything she can't do? <laughs> Are you all right? Oh, uh, yeah. 
I'm fine. I'm just a little bit hungover. <laughs> Last time I checked, AR six seven seven point five four came before AR six seven seven point eight three. Usually, I do this job alone. I bet you do a lot of stuff alone. <laughs> you know, the blonder they are, the harder they fall. <laughs> I baked these brownies and brought them in to entice you to speak. <laughs> Anybody who talks gets a brownie. Oops. I just talked. I guess I get a brownie. <laughs> mm. Delicious. Uh-oh. I guess I get another one. <laughs> You know, I can stop anytime I want. <laughs> Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm just gonna go throw these away in my office <laughs> where I have milk. <laughs> Mary. I need you and Wanda to shelve these carts before the lunch hour rush. Oh, and Mary, your bosom is showing. <laughs> I'll take this one. It's got more books. That won't be necessary, Wanda. <laughs> Look, Wanda, it's Urkel. <laughs> Excuse me. Where would I find Last of the Mohicans? Video World, two blocks down. Daniel Day Lewis is savage in that. <laughs> Fiction's over there, alphabetical by author. Sorry, she's a rookie. <laughs> okay, GH nine two four point oh two. Where is GH? GH. Huh. Uh, is there a problem? No, no, I'm fine. I'm just shelving away. <laughs> Me too. My cart's almost empty. Yeah, but can you do this? Henry, <laughs> I'm impressed. You, you've really taken to this. You got all your work done, and in a very timely fashion. Well, sure, that's me. When it comes to shelving, I'm a quick one. <laughs> What's this? Okay, so I pad. <laughs> Miss Burkhart, Miss Burkhart, you know those books that Mary was supposed to shelve? I found them behind the radiator. Mary, what? Did you And there's about? more in the ladies' room. People like to read in the bathroom. <laughs> Hid the books. She did. She did. <laughs> I should have known better than to hire you. Curse this heart of gold. <laughs> It's not my fault. Wanda was acting like it was the Summer Olympics. I demand you give her a drug test. <laughs> You're making a mockery out of what we do here. A mockery. <laughs> this may not mean much to you, but this is our life. I used to feel so safe here. <laughs> Like I didn't try. It's just it's very complicated. Oh, it's obvious she doesn't know the system. It's my first day. A trained monkey learned it on PBS in a matter of hours. <laughs> But you never hear about all the monkeys that died trying. <laughs> Sorry, Mary. It's just not a good idea for us to work together. I'm going to have to let you go. Wouldn't put us down as a reference. <laughs> Mary, you're late. This is supposed to be your celebration. You're the one that got fired. Derek, I'm not up for it. Judy's right. I have to get serious. I can't live my life partying all night and sleeping all day. Okay, who are you, and what have you done with Mary? <laughs> How did the job go? 
I got fired. Look, there are other jobs out there. No, you guys don't understand. I liked it. Okay, I liked working at the library. Then ask your godmother for your job back. I can't. I don't even know the Dewey Decimal System. Everyone knows that. They teach it in like third grade. I learned it twice. <laughs> well, I miss third grade. That was the year my mom and I followed the Grateful Dead. Mary, you can learn the Dewey Decimal System. For God's sake, I saw a monkey learn it on PBS. <laughs> Uh, Mary, uh, when I said I'd help you learn the Dewey Decimal System, I meant during the day, like when the monkey learned it. This is important to Mary. We have to be in her corner. She's like a boxer, and we're like her cup and her mouthpiece. And they said I'd never amount to anything. This place is charming. Very Soviet Union, 1972. I love it here. I never thought I'd like a place that had so many rules, but there's something kind of comforting about it. And everything has its place. I just don't know where that place is yet. Take it from me. It's always the last place you look. Mary, look. Dewey classification provides a system for organizing a universe of items. You're good at organizing things. You think so? Would you hang your 1950 Norell silk blouse next to your pink Vivian Westwood top? The one with the impossibly small waist? Have you lost your mind? Well, why not? Classic American glamour doesn't go with contemporary British Victoriana, and you know that. See, all you have to do is think of the library as a giant walk-in closet. Huh? Now think organizing. Armani, Biblos, Chanel, Dickens. Dickens? Elliot? Faulkner. Hi, George. I think she's got it. <laughs> Let's get this party started. I recall you were fired. <laughs> if only someone could hug the hurt away. <laughs> Judy, I wanted to apologize. Mary, what's the point? Wanda, you lead the conversation group. The only words I can think of have four letters. And that's for the advanced class. <laughs> Judy, I can explain. Mary, I've heard it all. Looking for books on car repair? Uh, 600, 600. Technology, Technology and Applied Sciences, third stack on the right. We also have the Encyclopedia of Manuals, the Capco Guide to Domestic Parts, 58th edition, 11 years of car and driver on microfiche. <laughs> and just for fun, take a look at Jack Kerouac's On the Road in fiction. Uh. Mary, that's one of the most informed responses I've ever heard from a librarian, much less a clerk. Then give me my job back. I'm sorry, Mary. I'm touched that you applied yourself, but what are the chances of getting you in that mood again? <laughs> Judy, can someone think of a word that rhymes with bunny? <laughs> Judy, I think that Judy asked you to leave. Wanda, I know a doctor who can remove your nose from Judy's butt. <laughs> I'm telling Judy that you're disrupting the library. <laughs> Can someone think of a word that rhymes with witch? <laughs> I can do this job. I can. It's just not fair. Fugatti booty. In English, partner. You have word? Forget about it? Oh, forget about yeah. it. <laughs> okay, handsome. We're all complaining. You're not a true New Yorker unless you join in. We have a bit session. I, uh, I want hustle. Excuse me? I want hustle. You want to hustle? 
Great! Oh, come on, baby, let's hustle. He knows they hustle. What did he say? He's from Brussels. Come on, Brussels. She's making all this noise and she's refusing to leave. And I saw her flirting with a patron. Hit it. Last two. Ah, we go. Last one is Mary. Ah, we go. We do it. Mary. Mary, 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 Who do you think you are? How dare you turn this library into some sort of discotheque? <laughs> oh, shelve it, Wanda. <laughs> Judy, I can do this, okay? I mean, I can be responsible. Mary, you have disrupted the library. I told you. You've shown a complete disregard for the way we do things here. Thank you. And I got a really big kick out of it. What? You have your mother's spirit. And we can certainly use some of that around here. Does this mean you're going to give me my job back? Only if you'll agree to lead the conversation group. Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Mary. See you tomorrow, 9 o'clock sharp. Yes. See you tomorrow, everybody. Bye-bye. Uh-oh, conflict. <laughs> Wanda, I've got a bikini wax at nine. Be a doll and cover for me. <laughs>